choice, not a mistake. On August 30th, 2012, a, a park named Rockwood Amusement Park was robbed. Park security, Winston Thomas, was injured. Today you will learn that all the events that took place on that day was the, was the result of choices made by the defendant. Now, to clearly understand August 30th, you need to understand some things that happened leading up to that day. Before August 30th, the park's owner, Mr. Longstreet, he was on to solving a scheme, one that was going down in his park, one that involved missing wristbands and profit. So on August 30th, to get to the bottom of this, Mr. Longstreet, he replaced the ticket booth operator, Cameron Poole, with Parkson County, Haley Floyd. So as the day progressed, everything was going according to plan. Uh, the profits was adding up to the people in the park and the wristbands being given out. And with Bowman and Cameron Poole, they began to get nervous. They, they thought someone was on to them. Choices had to be made. So Mr. Bowman, he left his designated ride and went to the Tunnel of Terror. Mr. Poole was to steal the remaining money from the chicken teal. Everything was going according to plan until something happened. See, as Mr. Poole fled from the ticket pool, Security Officer Winston Thomas ran behind him. Now both running in the direction of the Tunnel of Terror, now being operated by Mr. Bowman, Mr. Bowman didn't know what to do, so he made a choice. He decided to put the ride in blackout mode. Now that's what happens when all of the lights go out, yet all the cars keep moving. So Mr. Poole and Security Officer Thomas, now running towards the Tunnel of Terror, now into the Tunnel of Terror, Mr. Thomas is struck by one of the cars. Mr. Poole, he escapes. Mr. Thomas is struggling in the hospital, holding on for dear life. We as the prosecution, we carry the burden of proof. We have to prove to you, beyond a reasonable doubt, that Mr. Bowman, acting alone or in complicity, committed robbery in the first degree and theft by deception. Now, beyond a reasonable doubt simply means having a doubt based on reason and common sense. Robbery in the first degree means harming or threatening another individual with the intent to steal. And a theft by deception simply means stealing $500 or more while creating a false impression. To help illustrate this, we will call before you three witnesses. First, Ms. Billy Isaacs, the primary operator of the Tunnel of Terror, the ride used in the aid of Cameron Poole. She will come before you and she will explain to you how on August 30th, Mr. Bowman came to her several times begging to take over her ride. She'll also explain to you the events of how she, it took place that day and how she saw it before she left. Next, we will call Ms. Tyler Hartman. Ms. Hartman, a frequent visitor at Rock the World, she'll explain to you how she knows Ms. Mr. Bowman. She'll explain to you the event she saw take place that day and how she saw Mr. Bowman give Cameron Poole a knife. And lastly, we will call Detective Kimball. Detective Kimball will tell you how J.C. Longstreet called him, asked him to help him investigate the scheme that was taking place at Rock the World, and also how he saw the events take place that day. Mr. Bowman made a choice, not a mistake. My co-counsel, Stephanie Henschel, will come and ask that you find Whit Bowman guilty of all charges. Thank you.